out here today with David from Flippin' Bass. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Pretty good. And we're gonna be doing a little challenge today. I got my mystery tackle box. We're at David's Secret Ponds. We're gonna see who can catch the biggest three fish. I'm gonna use only the baits in here. David's gonna use his choice to tackle. It's gonna be an epic challenge. Let's go, man. Let's go. Fish, fish, giant. What, a giant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was about, I haven't even opened my box yet. David catches a giant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I haven't even opened my box yet. This is, oh my. Look at that, man. Let's go. <laughs> David. Yeah. Yeah. David yeah. takes the lead in the challenge. <laughs> haven't even put off my bait yet. That's a three and a half right there, man. Nice job. Let's get a weight on it. Flipping Bass takes the lead in this challenge. Where That was the first cast, wasn't it? I think it was like my third. Third cast, he catches a 3.44 pound bass right there takes the lead nice job man black and blue spinner bait right there <laughs> i wonder if i'll get a spinner bait in this box here you go hopefully you do wow that's a healthy fish yeah, man. gotta get this box open and start fishing before david takes too much of a lead let's see what we got we got a crankbait which i might actually start throwing since uh, david just caught one of the spinner bait we got a frog for the northeast, this might not be too much of a play this time of year, but we'll see. Got some uh, really nice shaky head slash drop shot worms right here. I'll definitely be using this at some point today. Also got a uh, shaky head. We got a football headed jig. That might be for the giant. That might be for the uh, kicker fish. And we've got some uh, Senko type worms. Looks like a nice box. Let me tie on that crankbait. Let's get fishing. This live target bait ball is a perfect bait for a lake or reservoir with a lot of shad, but it runs a little too deep for pond fishing, so I'm gonna make a change. And this water is pretty clear, about four feet visibility. We got sunny skies. I'm thinking I'm gonna try some finesse on these bass. Just switched it up to the Rain's Bubbling Shaker Finesse Worm. Have it rigged up on a drop shot rig using an eighth ounce tungsten weight. I think this might be the deal right here. Got him. Uh, no! <laughs> My first fish of the day. Not a keeper, not eligible for the tournament. Pretty little fish, probably my smallest fish caught this year. Eating that, uh, choking that worm pretty much as big as he is. Let's compare the sizes right there. Nice, number one, got the skunk off. Time to slay a five pounder now. The three pounder right there. Solid? Yeah, it's cruising. Yeah, it's cruising. Yeah, you fish are in here, you just gotta get them to bite. <laughs> it's not it's not very big either. You just need the right conditions, you know, morning or evening or cloudy. Oh, oh got him! That's a three pounder. That's the three, dude. I saw him in there. Oh that's not three. <laughs> we'll take him. That's a two and a half. Now, oh look at dude, this water is so pretty. You can see them fighting there. Yeah, you can live them for me next man. Try to get this fish in. Thanks, dude. Yeah. All right, my first fish of the day. Another healthy second, fish. A second. Uh, second fish, yeah, I guess we'll count that first one on the drop shot. Saw him in there. Official weight. Looks like about two and a half. 2.5, 2.54. All right, you still got the lead, man, but I'm yeah. catching up now. Yep. Let this fish go. He's got stuck on the branch. What? Wait, what? It's stuck. What? 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 Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Stuck. It got stuck. I've never seen that before. What did it get stuck on? A little stick right there. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. I mean, that's like two, a foot and a half of water. Yeah. Uh, not a very smart fish. <laughs> Let's move on to another bait. See what else we got in this box. Play with more of these fun toys. Shaky head. I think we'll go with the shaky head. And where's that uh, Senko style worm? We'll go with the shaky head. And we'll go with this uh, Savage Gear Watermelon Red Armor Tube Worm. This is going to catch a big fish. Let's go. Got the armor tube worm rigged up on the enraged shaky head. Let's go ahead and get another one and take the lead on this thing. We're at pond number two right now. The nice thing about David's secret golf course pond is that you got one pond down there. We walked up. Here's pond number two. And right behind us is pond number three. So we got plenty of water to cover. I'm sure we'll be able to find some decent fish sooner or later. Drop shot on one rig, shaky head on the other. I call this the two rods, two reel special. Never failed me. But then again, I've only tried it once. We'll see what happens. This place is on fire. Got him, got him. Got him? Got him, double one. Oh, no, it's not oh, a keeper, though. I don't think that's a 
<laughs> that is definitely not a keeper. But, you know, the two rods, two reels tactic. That might be the deal, man. Yeah. Have you ever tried that before? No. <laughs> Little guy on the drop shot again. The drop shot's great for catching numbers. But we need some big fish. I still got to catch up to you. You're still beating me. That's the power of the two rods, two reels technique. You got one bait out there going for the, the uh, quantity. Then you got the other bait out there going for quality. Got both your bases covered and uh, cover twice as much water. Maybe get twice as many fish. Holy moly guys, this is legitimately a nine pounder. There's a brush pile underneath this bridge. The nine pounder is right in the middle of it. I don't know if you can see that thing, but it is a freaking hogzilla. Man, that's the thing about golf course ponds. You know they're loaded with fish, but we're fishing these post frontal conditions right now. David was actually fishing two days ago during a snowstorm. He was slaying him, caught a five pounder, a four pounder, a three. Then we come out two days later, sunny bluebird skies, and we can hardly get a bite today. But you know, that's fishing. Just gotta, you gotta try to get them in good conditions and bad conditions. That's the challenge. If I can catch a nine pounder though, I'm gonna freaking do the biggest happy dance of all ever MTB has ever seen. Well, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get her to bite. I guess I'll have to do the hashtag sad dance. Running out of time. If I'm not gonna catch something, I might as well not catch something big. Let's go ahead and throw out this jig right here, football jig. Try to get a five pounder, clinch this thing up. This has gotta be it. The all-terrain tackle jig, savage gear worm. Let's get one more at the end of the day. Wrapping up the day of the first ever MTB versus everything challenge. You know, it's a tough day out, but if every day of fishing was easy, it wouldn't be fun, right man? Yeah. Gotta give you credit though, you pulled out that three and a half pounder right at the beginning, yeah. took beat my two and a half. So that gives you the win and the champion. Go to the Flippin' Bass. Be sure to check out his channel, guys. Check and we'll see you in the uh, next video. Thanks for having me, man. No problem, man.